Well, Faith, Sherry Sotelo held her last adoption event before Christmas today, and while she wants to see these pups go home for the holidays, she has a strict screening process to make sure it's their forever home. If you want to see a wet nose and wagging tail under your tree this year, <laughs> a local rescuer wants you to know this package shouldn't be returned, upgraded, or tossed aside. Puppies need activity, puppies need love, puppies need training. And all too often, rescuers and shelters see buyer's remorse. So it was fun, it was great, it was a novelty, it was the most fun event, unwrapping a puppy on Christmas Day, and then it was great two weeks while you were off of school and the kids can watch it. The kids go back to school, the young adults go back to college, then all of a sudden reality kicks in and, oh, the puppies are grabbing my items. The puppies are causing me to have more expenses. The puppies crying, oh, there's more that I have to do on a daily basis and I'm busy. Sherry Satello runs Las Vegas Animal Assisted Therapy. We get a lot of post-holiday returns. There's a huge influx right throughout January through to March. To avoid those returns, she has a thorough screening process for anyone wanting to adopt, especially around the holidays. We want to know, okay, what is, where is this family going to see themselves in 10 years? Where is this dog going to be in 10 years with this family? We're looking at with some of these breeds, they're going to live 17 years. You know, what are, what's the family's plans? What's their daily routine? And when they say, oh, well, I'm going to give it to a friend or, oh, yeah, you know, I, you know, I work 10 hour days and I have to travel every two weeks for work and I have to be gone three days and they'll just go to boarding. It's not going to be an acceptable place for a puppy. So I like butters. Curtis Meyer is adopting butters for his younger sister. We had talked to her and, you know, just a reminder, hey, this is, you know, this is more than just a kid. It's eventually kids grow up and they can take care of themselves. While they haven't decided exactly how they will gift butters, they did spend a long time talking about the lifelong commitment. <laughs> so before that Christmas magic wears off, Satello says, do your research, take a pause and think twice before bringing a pet home for the holidays. So before you take him or her home, where, where do you want to be? And is that puppy with you? It's okay to say no. Sotelo says if you're not ready just yet, local rescues and shelters are in need of fosters so you can still spend the holidays with a furry friend. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.